It's Monday, September 14th. Welcome aboard to this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining us. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website, www.town.barnstable.ma.us. The town clerk's office and election volunteers and workers alike are getting ready for a very busy election season coming up. Tuesday, September 15th, is going to be the first of a number of planned elections. Town Clerk Linda Hutchenreiter spoke with us last week about what's coming up on Tuesday the 15th. And that will be specifically for all the members of the school committee. There are five people running, and you can only have uh, double the amount of seats that are available. So there are two seats available, which means we can have four people on the ballot in November. We have five people running, so we are having this election to pare down and the top four vote getters will be on the ballot in November. We do have one precinct, which is Precinct 12. They actually have something extra. They have two things to vote for. They not only have the school committee, but there are three people running for the seat of town council there. And again, it's the same scenario. We have one seat. We could have two people, but instead we have three. So the top two vote getters from this election will be on the ballot in November. So this is our town preliminary election. Polling places will open up at 7 in the morning and will close at 8 o'clock. And, of course, here are the polling locations for Tuesday's election. Precinct 1 is at the Barnstable West Barnstable Elementary School on Route 6A in Barnstable Village. Precinct 2 is at the Greek Community Center of Cape Cod on Route 28 in Centerville. Precinct 3 is at the Senior Center, which is 825 Falmouth Road in Hyannis. Precinct 4 at Our Lady of Victory Church Hall, 230 Main Street in Centerville. Precinct 5 is at Cape Cod Academy, 50 Osterville West Barnstable Road in Osterville. Precinct 6 is at the Jim of Christ Chapel, 2C Oak Street, that's in Centerville. Precinct 7 is at Freedom Hall in Main Street, Catuit. Precinct 8 is at the Youth Center and uh, on Bassett Lane in Hyannis. Precinct 9 is at Town Hall, 367 Main Street on the second floor hearing room. Precinct 10 is at the Horace Mann Charter School, 730 Osterville West Barnstable Road in Marston's Mills. Precinct 11 is at the West Barnstable Community Building on Meeting House Way in West Barnstable. Uh, Precinct 12, again, at the Horace Mann Charter School, 730 Osterville West Barnstable Road in Marston's Mills. And Precinct 13 joins Precinct 9 at Town Hall on the, in the second floor hearing room. And, of course, we will have the results of that election Tuesday night here on Channel 18. And as we've mentioned, of course, this is going to be a very busy time for town election workers on October 13th, which is the day after Columbus Day. Voters in the town will head to the polls again to cast ballots on the proposed Stewart's Creek Sewer Improvement Project. Uh, the council could have put the ballot question on the November ballot, but it was their choice and their vote to place it at a special election. This is going to take place October 13th. We have absentee ballots for this election as well. Um, I have everything organized out, and we have to have the ballots normally three weeks ahead of time. We got these in just yesterday, so we're a little bit ahead of the curve. But I wanted to make sure that those people who are going to Florida had the opportunity to vote. Everybody's vote counts on all of these elections, and I'm really encouraging everyone to get out for all of them. Voters will be asked again to head out to the polls on November the 3rd for the townwide general election. On December 8th, again a Tuesday, a preliminary election will be held for the candidates running to fill Senator Edward Kennedy's seat. The runoff election for that race will be held on January 19th. So um, these boxes are going to remain in the hallway for some time, so people need to watch out when they come down here because um, these are going to be rotating the, the whole time where we're... We're very busy right now. Again, all the results will be made available right here on Channel 18. Now, late last week, the town's cable advisory committee held a public hearing on the upcoming contract with cable provider Comcast. The chair of committee offered a few comments as the hearing began. The impetus for this public hearing is the recent renewal of the cable television license held by Comcast Communications. Comcast will begin offering cable television services under a renewed cable television license starting at the beginning of 2010. As part of the renewal of Comcast cable television, uh, Comcast is required to provide three cable channels um, on the cable system and also to provide the town with an annual franchise fee. This fee is allowed by federal law and set as, at a maximum level of 5% of the gross revenues earned by the Comcast in Barnstable. 
This 5% franchise fee payable over each of the next 10 years of Comcast license must be used to support lo local access programming, the town and INET, and other cable-related expenditures. It is expected to yield funds over the next 10-year license period in excess of $10 million. The town manager, as the cable licensing, uh, the cable television issuing authority, is responsible for decisions as to how these funds are to be allocated. The public hearing this evening is an effort by the Barnstable Cable Advisory Committee to solicit information about the current and planned utilization of the cable channels and the town INET. This information will be used to make recommendations to the town manager regarding the disbursement of the funding. It is also an opportunity for members of the public to give their views on the matter of disbursement. The format of this hearing is as follows. First, we will hear from representatives of the public, education, and government access channels, and then from a representative of the town's institutional cable network. I will ask that each re representative make a presentation that is no longer than 10 minutes in length. Following each 10-minute presentation, there will be a five-minute period for questions from members of the Barnesville Cable Advisory Committee. Following all of the presentations and initial questioning by the committee, which should be approximately an hour in duration, the floor will be open for public testimony. All comments and questions will go through me as chair. I may request that persons testifying provide written documents for the record of the hearing, in which case we would leave the record open for two weeks until September 24th to receive such written testimonies. Ha having now dispersed with the formal introductions, I would like to ask the representatives, uh, the representative of Cape Cod Community Media to come forward and present. And of course, the committee will continue to solicit input for that matter. Let's take a look at some of the meetings that are going on here in the town throughout the next week. The planning board has a meeting at 7 o'clock in the town hall hearing room. Sandy Neck board meeting is going to take place at the MEA conference room over on Finney's Lane at 7.30. For Tuesday, September 15th, the Barnstable Housing Committee has a meeting at 8 a.m. in the Selectman's Conference Room. And then also on Tuesday at 3.30 in the afternoon, there's going to be a joint meeting of the Water Pollution Control and Public Works Commission, again 3.30 at the DPW Conference Room. The airport terminal ad hoc meeting takes place at 4 p.m. at the airport. Followed by the airport commission meeting at 6 o'clock also at the airport. The Conservation Commission has a hearing at 6.30 in the Town Hall hearing room. And on Wednesday, the Zoning Board of Appeals is going to hold a hearing at 7 o'clock in the hearing room. Also on Wednesday, the Highness Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission has a meeting at 7 o'clock in the Selectman's Conference Room. The Shellfish Committee meeting is going to take place at 7.30 at the MEA Conference Room on Finney's Lane. Then wrapping out the week on Thursday, September 17th, the Town Council hosts a meeting at 7 o'clock in the Town Hall hearing room. For Kevin Freel, I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of Barnstable Today.